Before tens of thousands roam the grounds of Highland Meadows Golf Club to watch the LPGA's best at the Marathon Classic, the final big Mo Day. This weekend, the spectator ropes go up, and after that, the grounds crew will only worry about the greens, tees, and fairways, the inside the rope areas. Once spectators show up, course superintendent Greg Madison knows exactly what to expect. There's going to be damage, there's going to be traffic um, that knocks the grass down, and, and the grass is pretty resilient. Uh, it'll grow back. The crew's been through it before. They know what to expect. Uh, I've been through other tournaments before, so I kind of know what to expect as well. Uh, and just if the weather cooperates with us, uh, it'll, it'll be a great week. For the grounds crew, the daily grind isn't that much different during the Marathon Classic. When major tournaments come to town, sometimes courses are doctored to make them more difficult, but that's not the case when the LPGA Tour comes to Northwest Ohio. Well, the only thing that we do is the nines get reversed. And that's just so that they have room to put their bleachers. We just manage the golf course and then we hand it over to them for the week. Dave Alexander has worked at Highland Meadows for 39 years and has worked every LPGA tournament the course has hosted since the event moved to Highland Meadows in 1989. Needless to say, he knows how to prepare this course. Fairways, tees, collars are all cut at the same height, 400 thousandths. Greens are cut at 100 thousandths. Short rough, the courtesy cut is cut at one inch and also around the green is one inch. And then rough is two and a half. Soon the bleachers at Highland Meadows will be filled and a national audience will be tuned in to watch the biggest names in women's golf play for a $1.5 million purse. But for the grounds crew, the routine will remain the same for the most part. They'll get to work and prep the course the same way they would on any other day, with the same care and attention to detail. Alex Glaze, NBC24.